the plant is in Fido, near Trento. It produces overall 44,000 tons of waste per year. 33,000 tons of organic waste, coming mainly from municipal collection and from agricultural or gardening activities in the province of Trento. And 11,000 tons of green waste consisting of grass clippings and pruning. The daily capacity of the plant is about 100 tons. The first step of the whole process is the entry of the waste into the plant. Each incoming vehicle, small trailers and trucks with trailers is weighed. The registration of the incoming waste tanks is made by an electronic system. The unloading of the vehicles is divided between organic waste, discharged inside the plant in the pit of the pretreatment area, and green waste positioned in a specific area outside the plant for the temporary storage of vegetable waste. Vegetable waste is produced by the maintenance of public and private green, horticulture and gardening. It consists mainly of wood and roots. This waste feeds a shredder which reduces the material to an average size of 5 to 10 centimeters. Outside the plant, in another specific area, there is a temporary storage for shredded vegetable waste. Pre-treatment begins with the entry of the organic waste into the accumulation pit area. This area is divided into two distinct halls in order to maintain the depressurization of the system and ensure the confinement of odors. The incoming vehicles enter through the first automatic door, which closes before the second one is opened. From the point of view of environmental protection, this system is extremely important because it allows isolation between the internal and external environment, avoiding the release of emissions. The management of the pit is remote controlled and automated. The pit is divided into different areas where vehicles unload according to the type of material they transport. Inside the pit operates an automatic loading system with overhead crane and bucket. The waste is collected from the different areas of the pit and placed in a Dopstat DW2060 slow speed shredder, which magnetically removes metals and transfers the waste into a star screen. The screen makes a first rough selection, around 60 to 70 millimeters, obtaining the material cleansed of its impurities, mainly plastic packaging. The mixture of the various materials of the pit is created on the basis of the indicators highlighted by the analysis of the subsequent degradation processes by anaerobic bacteria. The wood resulting from the intermediate or final screening of the composting phase is temporarily stored in the pit and then used for recirculation, added to the anaerobic digester to give adequate structure to the fermenting mass and to balance the carbon-nitrogen ratio. The purposes of the pretreatment phase are two, to remove packaging and unwanted materials present in the organic waste from municipal collection, and to add the green material necessary for the subsequent anaerobic digestion phase. Shredding returns a blend of organic, roughly opened plastic bags and green material. The star screen, immediately afterwards, divides the material into two groups, the overscreen material packaging plus unwanted products, intended for the Tiger HS20 OSC, and the underscreen material, organic and green material used in the subsequent dry anaerobic digestion process. Tiger D-Pack is fed with 8 tons per hour of overscreen, a flow of packaging and unwanted materials, whose organic content reaches the 50 to 60 percent of the total dry weight. The material processed by the Tiger HS20 OSC is separated into two matrices through a patented vertical centrifugation process. The light matrix is mainly composed of packaging and the heavy one mainly of organic. The heavy organic fraction is loaded into the same collection belt used for the material that feeds the digester and in which is already located the previously described under screen. The organic recovered material is used for biogas production. Thanks to Tiger DPAC technology, the presence of plastic in the heavy fraction reaches a maximum of 0.5% by dry weight. The light fraction of material has, after treatment, a residual amount of organic substance of 5-6% to 6 of the dry weight. 
This results in a recovery of about 90%. The light fraction represents the new plant waste and is accumulated in a special section of the pit. This material is made of clean plastic, free from organic residues and water, lighter, easier, and cheaper to dispose of in landfills or waste to energy. The waste produced by the pretreatment section of the plant, thanks to the insertion of Tiger HS20 OSC, has been reduced by more than 50% by weight in a single step. The leachate coming from the pit and from the pretreatment phases are collected by pipes located below the area, conveyed into special tanks and used as process water in the pretreatment by the Tiger DPAC, or in part, channeled to the subsequent anaerobic digestion phase. The entire pretreatment area is closed with sealed doors and subjected to negative pressure. The internal air is sucked and sent to the treatment section through hermetic pipes. The material that comes out of the pretreatment phase is distributed through a watertight conveyor belt inside two digesters of 1300 cubic meters each. A biological process of microbial decomposition takes place inside the digesters, which, in the absence of oxygen, produces biogas composed of 58 to 60 percent methane. The first destruction of the pathogens by bacteria takes place in this phase. The mass inside the digester is fluid. It has a moisture content of around 75 to 80 percent, thanks also to the inflow of leachate from anaerobic digestion. The material is moved by a slow-moving paddle mixer. The biogas rises to the surface, but the mass remains homogeneous. The fermenting mass remains inside the digesters for an average of 21 days. The anaerobic fermentation process is carried out in a thermophilic regime at an average temperature of 50 degrees centigrade. Some parameters such as biogas production, internal pressure, temperature, are monitored by the management and control system, while the chemical-physical parameters are periodically checked by laboratory analysis carried out on digestate mass samples taken at the beginning and at the end of each digester. The laboratory analysis verify the internal biology of the two digesters in order to prevent the possibility of acidification of the mass. If this phenomenon occurs, the necessary preventative actions are promptly adopted. For example, changes to the feeding materials. At the end of the process, a piston pump extracts the material and sends it to a mixer. A part of the digestate mass is reintroduced at the head of the digester to maintain the bacterial load necessary for the perpetuation of the cycle. The second biological treatment takes place in the second part of the plant, where the material is processed to obtain quality soil conditioner for organic farming. The aerobic process lasts an average of 40 days, 10 days for the active composting time in the biocells, and 30 days for the curing phase in the composting area. The output digestate material feeds a mixer in which shredded vegetable waste and screening waste are added in order to make it more solid and therefore suitable for aerobic treatment. After mixing, the composting process continues inside eight biocells or biotunnels under forced ventilation. The presence of sufficient air for the process is ensured by a series of fans that blow it through the floor, specially ventilated. The leachate generated is channeled and reused to maintain the moisture inside the composting cells. The aerobic process takes place in a completely closed area under negative pressure. The air is captured and sent for purification in a special section by an adequate collection network made of hermetic pipes.
At the end of the aerobic process, the material is transformed to a hopper which separates it into two fractions. The upper screen, greater than 40 millimeters, and the lower screen, smaller than 40 millimeters. The underscreen is sent to the maturation area, also under forced ventilation, where after two to three weeks, it's further screened and refined in order to obtain a final product with a size of less than 10 millimeters. This product is the mixed composted soil conditioner commonly named compost. This compost is agronomically valuable, rich in nutrients, and widely appreciated by Trentino farmers for the use in organic farming. The degree of moisture of the product can be seen from the color, the scent of the undergrowth, the softness, and porosity of the material. Before it can be put on the market, it is necessary, as required by law, to make a further chemical analysis. The plant produces an average of 12,000 tons per year of high quality compost. The biogas resulting from anaerobic fermentation is partly captured by a pipe, sent to a cooling unit and filtered to remove impurities and contaminants and is channeled to an engine connected to an alternator which generates electricity. The power production is of about 600 kilowatts per hour the quality of energy produced is sufficient to power the anaerobic digesters of the plant and any surplus energy is given to the grid, benefiting from public incentives. The biogas produced by the digesters, approximately 500 NMC per hour, has to be upgraded in the new upgrading section located above the composting tunnels. This section was implemented after the construction of the plant which initially only dealt with the transformation of all the biogas produced into incentivized electricity. This system is currently being completed and the plant will be able to produce 300 SM3 per hour of biofuel, which will be directly sent into the network by a special station at the end of the plant area near the main road. The production of biogas of this plant, equal to an average of 16,000 NM3, is converted in biomethane, 300 SM3 per hour and in electrical power with a continuous supply of 600 kilowatts. Inside the plant, there is an assistance workshop for small services and ongoing maintenance activities. The staff, trained and specialized, is able to efficiently manage small maintenance with the equipment provided, and if necessary, deal with the specialized maintenance technicians to describe and solve any breakdown, also in remote assistance. The main environmental protection is the complex system of depressurization and capture of the air inside the plant. It guarantees the control and treatment of odor emissions in the areas where the waste is treated, from entry into the plant to the very last phase of the treatments. The air inside the system, thanks to continuous recirculation, is blown by a network of pipes to two air scrubbers and then introduced from below into a biofilter whose natural activity allows a total elimination of odors and the simple release of warm steam. A further level of environmental protection is the control of all the indicators of the biofilter, which manages the air delivery system and the air intake by the collector in each area. All the processes described are constantly monitored and managed by an IT system. All phases are under control starting from the pretreatment, the management of the pit sections, the anaerobic digestion, the mixing before aerobic digestion, the mixing of digestate, and the aerobic composting phase, ACT and curing phase. The system also controls the essential parameters concerning the temperature inside the digester, the pressures, and the production of biogas. The aerobic phase is carefully managed through the display of a map of the plant that shows all the biocells, the sections of the maturation platforms, and the relative data, such as temperature, percentage of oxygen, blown air in the tunnels and in the maturation platform, aspiration from the treatment areas, performance of the environmental protection system, scrubber and biofilter. The production of biogas, electricity and biomethane is also monitored step by step. All production data is stored. The monitoring of the code generator emissions is continuous and referring data is sent to the environmental control body. All machines are connected for remote assistance. The plant is wired with a Profibus DP system, 
to control its flow and safety by a cascade lock system. The sustainability of this plant is proven by the context in which it is located. A prestigious vineyard, a wine-growing agricultural context which uses the compost produced on a daily basis.